Welcome back, everyone. I'm so happy to welcome to studio today this year's Ray and Regina of the Little Italy Festival. Dave and Ray Marietta. Guys, yeah, thanks for glad being to be here. here. Yeah, Thank glad you. to be First here. First of all, it's good to see both of you. They couldn't have picked a better Ray and well, Regina to represent the festival. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. You know, We've gone through a couple of years where, you know, we, we know what it's like to not have a festival. We know what it's like to be in a festival that's not normal. We're getting back to normal this year. How excited are you guys to be able to yeah. see this happen? It was such a disappointment that the COVID canceled the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody looks so forward to the festival every year in the Clinton area anyway, and, and the surrounding area. Sure. Uh, and now that we're going to have it again, it's kind of looking like it's going to be an improvement to a certain degree. Sure. And uh, hopefully uh, the people enjoy themselves. I know they will. There's so many things to enjoy. It all starts with the big parade, of course, on Friday. That kicks everything off at 6 o'clock. And that's, to me, one of the best parades in the entire area all year long. Let me ask you, Ray, if you had to say, what's one of your favorite things as you go through the festival grounds that you enjoy or you would recommend to viewers doing? Do you have favorites? I, I think the uh, grape stomping is fun. Mm -hmm. um, I've never done it myself. You need but to. But I will this year. <laughs> yes, you, well, you have to. It's almost a requirement. Right, right. Yes. right. And the food. Who, how can, look at this. We're looking at spaghetti right now. There's the grape stomping you were talking about. Right. And so many things on the main stage that happen as well. Oh, constantly. From, from 11 o'clock in the morning till, you know, 9 o'clock at night, there's something going on in the stage area. Uh, if you get bored there, the kids, you can take them down to the carnival, yep. uh, which will be uh, available again this year. Uh, lots of vendors there, too. A lot of vendors, mm -hmm. as many as we had prior to the COVID. Sure. So that's a, that's a good thing. And then go on down to the wine garden if you want to cool down and have a nice uh, taste. Yep. So uh, there'll be food there available. There'll be continuous entertainment. Do you still have the tractor that takes everybody? That will be available again this year. Oh, yeah. good. Because it makes it so easy to get from downtown to the wine garden and to also experience the history. Because yeah. that's such an important it part is. of the festival. It is. The fountains and the history and the heritage of Vermilion County and Clinton especially, uh, the Italian heritage is strong. Yeah. Very strong. It really is. And I think for people that have not experienced the Little Italy Festival, they're going to find plenty of things to do. But if you have experienced it, i got to tell you guys, I'm just looking forward to coming back and feeling nostalgic it's, every it's a reunion. year. It's a reunion, Julie, and, and people look forward to it just for that particular reason. Yeah. So. It, it, it touches my heart because, you know, I remember being a child and experiencing things with my grandparents, and I know for so many it is that reminiscing time. That's, so. that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me this. Uh, what will your responsibilities be? I mean, like, what will you all be doing? Whatever they tell us to do. <laughs> I mean, Ray, I know you have to do the parade, right? We'll be in the parade, and then we'll also, uh, uh, Jack Guilfoy, the Mary Clinton, he'll be introducing us and then welcoming everybody to the festival. Sure. And from then uh, on till Monday evening, there'll be something constantly going on on the stage area that will be a part of certain things, such as the, the spaghetti eating contest, oh, the mustachio contest. There'll be the Banya Kala cook-off, and that will be up at the wine garden. So there's something different this year. Uh, there'll be a lot of activities that everybody can get involved in one way or another. It's Labor Day weekend, and there's no better place to be. I'm biased, of course, because I spent the first seven years of my life in Clinton, Indiana, and I want folks to know it really is. It just is a good place to feel welcomed and to uh, get to enjoy delicious food that we're seeing once again there. All kinds of great treats. Before we wrap up, do you, what's your favorite food, I have to ask? Do you uh, have a favorite? Naturally, spaghetti and meatballs, <laughs> but I was brought up on it. <laughs> yeah. You no. too? Yes. What about the rosettes? Uh, oh, I love oh, the rosettes. So good. All right. She, her Italian heritage, my Italian heritage. Yeah. We were brought up on Italian food. Uh, yeah. And then this year's band, the featured band this year is going to be Nantucket at the Wine Garden. Oh, really? Yeah, A new band? Yeah. Nantucket will be there Saturday evening, playing from 9 to midnight, and also Sunday evening. And they're very popular in this area. Okay. So there you go, folks. The Wine Garden, another great place mm -hmm. to visit. You're looking at that right now with folks eating. But the entertainment 
is always a, a great thing a at great the Wine Garden thing. Daily. Uh, entertainment at the Wine Garden is, is something you can enjoy. It uh, Friday, 8 to midnight, Saturday, Sunday, 11 to midnight, and then Monday as well. So. Yeah, and we'll still have the polka bands. Yay! Yes. <laughs> yes. Gotta have that. Yep. She's too fat. She's too yeah. fat. She's too <laughs> fat for me. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> hey, come on out for Little Italy Festival and search them on Facebook. Fans of the Little Italy Festival, you'll find them and you'll find all the activities And the schedules there. will be right there. Everything's on Facebook That's for right. you to see. Don't forget the fireworks Monday night. Guys, thanks for coming hey, in. Hey, thanks, Thank Julie. You. A pleasure to see you. Always welcome folks from Clinton right here in the right. studio whenever I can. Well, so. you're still a, a resident. Yeah. Oh, yes. In my heart, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Stay you. with us. When we come back, there's another big event happening this weekend. Wine on the Wabash. We'll tell you all about it. Don't go away.